Since Rip was right about what would happen, we'll also look at Brad Gollinghouse and see what was said. After that, we'll look at Western Union, MoneyGram, and the situation there right now. Everyone, please relax and let's begin. Bitcoin is now worth $66,449, 76% more than it was yesterday. Being sold for $2,575. Both USDT and USDC are trading at their own dollar pegs, which means that XRP is down 1.29% and trading means lean AT.539. It's not 589, which is about 54 cents. Everyone is shouting that the bull market is over and that Bitcoin has just reached its highest point. Don't these people look like the ones who screamed all season? I get too excited to talk. Then what will happen? Bitcoin hasn't taken off. That's the simple answer. There are a lot of longs out there. Everyone is very bullish and we have seen green. Bitcoin needs to go above $74,000. If it doesn't, we might go back to the $50,000 to $55,000 mark since nothing has changed. Hey everyone, we haven't really made any progress. Once people see green, they should remember one thing the Bitcoin bull run is about to begin and could begin at any time, as I said in the day's first video, we hit. $67,000 as I thought we would. We'll check out where we can go again. Either we'll go back down and test again, or we'll quickly go up and break through $74,000 before going back to $88,000. Monica Long said, I'm really proud to share this event on stage at Ripple as well. The RLUST is meant to be used in financial apps such as DeFi, tokenization, and payment. We are going to join RLUST with XRP in our payment system to make cross-border payments faster, more reliable, and cheaper. Our partners and customers have asked us to provide an enterprise-grade stablecoin. And we will. That is a very important remark. Lust is a safe coin that can be used by businesses, but USDTT and USDC are not. Ripple is in the stablecoin business for a reason, which I've been telling you and getting the word out. This stablecoin will help the price of XRP go up and will make the XRP system much more liquid. Don't forget that as more stablecoins are used, more XRP will be burned. The price will go up as more XRP is burned. Take a look at this tweet from Ripple that lists all of its stablecoin trading partners. Things like Bitstamp, Bitso, MoonPay, Indie Reserve, CoinMana, and Bullish were on that list, which we kind of knew. The Relust Advisory Board was created with experts in traditional banking, government, and the law to make sure the launch of the enterprise use blockchain is done right. Relust Market, which blends the benefits of blockchain technology with the dependability of regular money. Lust can be used for many things, such as instant payments, clearing around the world without the need for a middleman, smooth on and off ramps, simple currency exchange, and tokenizations that give users access to real-world asset value. Everyone, it's coming and it's coming big. Things are starting to make sense. He also says, please call me Brad Gollinghouse. The calls are coming from inside the house. Commissioner Udi says that the SEC's plan for crypto is a disaster. Cumberland is also being sued by the agency for selling stocks without a license. He says the circus never stops. He's right. Udi, he pay attention. Still, I'm glad to be here. How does the SEC deal with cryptocurrency? Our policies and procedures over the last few years have been terrible for the industry as a whole, in my view. Enforcement has been used to set this policy. We haven't done anything to give you advice on it. As a result, this has been affected by the courts. In addition, different courts have made different rulings. It makes me mad that we haven't given you clear instructions on what you can and cannot do, and I think this Wells Notice is part of that. I'm not going to say anything about the facts of this case, though. Additionally, how do you sign up, get licensed as a broker-dealer, and sign up as an exchange if you are selling securities? So we need more people to start going after the SEC. It's really that simple. That's right. Also, Fox Business keeps showing Litecoin for some strange reason. You have to love that. Okay, let us look at the past again. Excuse me, but I think this was the swell from 2019 to 2020. During the last bull market, Brad Gollinghouse and the CEO of MoneyGram were on stage. We all know what a terrible result that partnership had. The reason was the SEC, but the fact that MoneyGram just announced a new Stellar wallet to USD option says that the problem is bigger than that. Interesting, huh? But what do you know? With that news out, who is at Swell today? I'll let you hear it soon, but first let's go over this. Short memory lane, then we'll get to the big important news. What I like most about ODDL is that we're kind of on the cutting edge of this right now. As we talk and walk around, I think there are still a lot of doubters out there. I'm here to say that I'm no longer one of them, even though I guess I was. Do you think Ripple could come back? A lot of FX changes happen with that product. Every second or even every few seconds, we send $350 to Mexico so that we can watch transactions go from, say, the U.S. to Mexico, which is our biggest quarter right now. We're settling for a lot of money. 
As we do now, we were trying to look at cross-border use cases where you go from a US dollar to a peso. That was probably the biggest problem we had with it. You need to put dollars into the market. You need to get pesos. That costs FX. You think that taking part in the Bitcoin space will get rid of the FX cost. In fact, you can since the coin's value changes over time. As you may know, I think we're sending about 10% of the traffic we normally send to Mexico through the ODL site to boost traffic from the US to Mexico. It is working amazingly well. We are now beginning to scale the four new lines we opened. It didn't really solve anything. In reality, it had a third part because you were exchanging $1 for another currency, which means you were doing two foreign exchange deals instead of one. It's pretty amazing that I knew how many pesos I moved, what time it was, and the value of. The peso at that very moment, and then bought your pesos and brought them to Mexico to settle down. I really do have that on-demand cash. It really is amazing. I guess I won't say anything about what else the company is doing or where they're going because it doesn't make much sense to me since it's a good company. It looks like this guy doesn't like Ripple. I don't think things will turn out well for him. As Swift told us, Gilbert Gottfried, the last person to attack Ripple, met his end. He was gone. This person says it doesn't make sense since you were changing countries. Interesting, huh? After this comes a furious scattering Ribic. I know he supports crypto and spoke at the Bitcoin meeting, but there are also very good things in our field, and then there is stupidity like this. To do this, he is putting out A and is liked by Bitcoin users. They love him because they don't know him. They have no idea how dangerous or needy he is, and he treats newcomers who are not white the same way the Nazis did to Jews in the 1930s. If you believe in transactions, you might like him because you think he will help Bitcoin, but he is not good for your society. He is bad for your community. The Bitcoin Maxi never thinks this crap. Yeah. Doing this kind of silliness about world. Liberty and money is a good thing about Donald Trump three weeks before the election. He is doing this, no idea why. Why did it happen three weeks before? He thinks that this will help him make money if it is put into action. How about three weeks before the election? Yes, because these things will get worse if he gets elected president, which is pretty normal for him. It's also a scam that involves money. He can get some of his donors to give money to that. He might use it to pay for personal things once it gets to his pocket. This is a clear scam that you should not believe. Another jerk, people? Quickly? I bet that made you laugh. After that, we have this. This is the CEO of... MoneyGram, folks. Our MoneyGram bag is now being shown off. We're letting USDC transfers go through the MoneyGram network for the first time thanks to special software that lets us. Right now, you can only get it in the US, Mexico, and Brazil. However, this is our first attempt to really change how money moves and give people the choice to move USDC through the system. Their first try. That's interesting. Didn't they use XRP to send money between Mexico and the Philippines in the past? I think so. He tells lies. Once they have the great access lines we made, they can use them to buy and sell things in markets all over the world. It's really exciting. In fact, we were thinking about how we could make the most of our current rails, which let customers send money home and send cash and other fiat currencies around the world. How can you do it, though, even in a way that is more stable and unique? You can now add money to the wallet by using the MoneyGram wallet in real life. You can empty the wallet in person if you'd like to. After that, it's easy to send money between people on the same digital chain. This guy was upset that Ripple's XRP didn't work, and now he's upset about Stellar too. Don't worry, though. Who is at Swell today? Could that be the CCO of Western Union? What are we cooking over there? Who doesn't see this one? Western Union and Ripple worked together to see how they could use XRP to make transfers better. Stellar or more. Specifically, Stellar.